Bill English has today said he will consider meeting representatives of the Park River families to listen to what they have to say. Checkpoint believes that meeting will happen, but it's highly unlikely to be tomorrow when family representatives are in Wellington. This morning, the families were on the road to the mine again, but this time in control of it after the farmer who owns the land the road is on gifted legal control of it to the families. That meant the families could lock solid energy out rather than the other way around. More on that in a moment, but for Cheryl Griffin, whose daughter Chloe was married to 33-year-old mine victim, Kane Nepia, this meant the morning, the morning was sad, as they always are, but also today, somehow different. It was, it, it, I felt the same, I felt sick, but it was just a wee bit different, and in my mind thinking, is this really happening? Because, you know, you, we've been told so many times that things are gonna change, and we always get kicked in the guts, but this time, I don't know, it was just like, what, you know, um, is it for real, you know? Um, yeah, and it well, was it was quite eerie going up there still, yeah. Cheryl, when you say you get kicked in the guts, can you explain that to people listening who don't understand what that kick in the guts is? How does it come? Who's it from? What does it feel like? It's just like um, we've hit, like the whole time we've we've listened to everybody that we spoke we thought we're supposed to listen to, and and we've done what everyone's told us to do, but every every time that like we go in to a meeting and then it's like we're thinking God what's going to happen and then the next thing it's no or something else has happened and it's just like you, you I don't know you just feel like you're just going round and round and everyone's telling us what to do and you know it's our guys in there and and everyone's telling us what we should do and like you know um i don't know we, we listen to too many people and, and you know we should have done this when we had that meeting at the ashley motor and we should have turned around and fought back then what meeting was that um the one at the ashley motor and the last one we were told when that oh, i don't even know what her name was um she, oh, i think she's the ceo of um solid energy um, you know, turned around and said, well, it's not going to happen. You know, we should have stu stood up then and started doing all what, what, what these guys have been doing now. You know, it was, it's just like um, we would just keep listening to everybody to say, we'll do this and do that right. And, um, yeah, but finally, hopefully, this is going to be a turnaround for us all, you know, and maybe, like, there is going to be a bit of a relief in our lives um, because it's bloody hard, Yeah. It's six years now, and yeah. you still sound... Oh, so angry. Angry, angry, angry. I lay in bed every night and worry about my daughter and, his, and my grandson. Um, you know, like, they're in a house on their own, and, um, you know, people think you can move on, but no-one knows what these families... And, and the children, you know, I think of the children because of, I'm a grandmother, but the children, like... The families have had problems and no one knows about it. You know, there's lots and lots of things that I know that other families have gone through with their children. Like, um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's, it's heartbreaking. And, you know, we lay the thunder and lightning and hot, bad weather. You know, she's out there by herself. You know, no one knows what we go through. And it's us as well, you know, looking after our daughter and my grandson. What do you want, Cheryl? What, what, what? I want what? bloody justice. I want to get in that mine as far as we can go down. And if there isn't anybody in there, it's still them. Be, it is evidence, and they just can't close that mine. They can't close it up because we're going to keep going on and on like this. You know, it's driving us crazy. I, you know, I'll never ever sleep properly until I know that we have done everything we can, everything, to try our standards to get evidence, justice, and Hopefully there is some, some guys down there that we can get to to bring home to make some family happy that they've got their loved ones home and just a bit of relief. And, and for people listening who will absolutely empathise and sympathise with you but will also be saying, but we keep being told again and again and again it is not safe to go up that drift. It's a load of bullshit. We've had we've got guys there waiting to go in, and like you know, um, these guys are specialists in New Zealand, you know, and it's just bullshit. That's all I can say. You know, we know we know we can get in there. Time and the time, these guys keep coming and telling Bernie and us, all our families, that it can be done. We know it can be done. You know, it's, yeah. Cheryl Griffin, who was on the road this morning with uh, other families.